Test a little closer to home, El Dorado County, one of the few not on the state's monitoring list, right? So they opened schools for the first time today for in-person learning. As CBS 13's Adrian Moore shows us in tonight's Learning Curve report, the first day back using a hybrid model seemed to pass with flying colors. Some familiar signs in these unfamiliar times. Totally missed this. We've all missed this. We've missed it. You know, hopefully it sets a trend and we get to live, live, live a little bit more normal. It's the first day back at Jackson Elementary School, one of five elementary schools reopening for in-person instruction in the Rescue Union School District. For mom Stephanie Hudson and Katie Chisholm, Emotions were admittedly all over the place. Much like the teachers doling out hand sanitizer. Starting our little routine. They need this. The kids need this. We need this. Yes. The connections. The, the kids are ready for this. We're ready for this. The school is operating under a combination of in class and virtual instruction, with students divided into morning and afternoon groups. Each class has between 10 to 15 students spread out across the classroom. This is unlike any other year we will ever experience and we were literally making history. But some parents say making history brings a whole new level of first day jitters. We are a little bit concerned and we're hoping that our kids stay safe and our teachers are up for the challenge of protecting everybody as they would their own children. While the district maintains reopening plans are in line with CDC and county health orders, the focus for many students is regaining a sense of ordinary in these extraordinary times. I just got these new shoes yes, like yesterday or something, and yeah, I just feel like I feel like, like 